here. What's your name? Evan. Evan? Evan, can you tell me the name of uh, the armored car again? So it is an SDKFZ 222. It is a German light armored car. It's got an MG34 as well as a 20 millimeter cannon. Uh, mainly used for reconnaissance purposes. Would a 20 millimeter cannon be normal on one of these? That's pretty large. For, for this, yes. For something like this, it would be normal. Um, it is still not, it was mainly used as an air, any aircraft uh, weapon. However, it would not generally be used against uh, any sort of medium or heavy armor vehicles. Um, in a pinch, it would, but it was not its main purpose. It's not a tank hunter. No, but that 20 millimeter cannon would destroy any uh, half tracks. Half tracks, trucks, any sort of light armor vehicle. It could, it, I mean, in a, in a pinch, it could. If, if it had the right angle on a, on a tank, it could. Stewart's, it would, it would do some damage on. Oh, even a Stewart, okay. Absolutely, yeah, but anything typically medium heavy armor, no. And you notice on all the German or any of the Axis equipment, because I think the, the half track might have been a, a, a Czech design, but they all have a very angled steel. Armor plating's all uh, very angular. Something that the Americans weren't as good at. Has two guns on top instead of 20 millimeter and uh would that have shot the same eight millimeter as the Mauser? Yeah, same okay. same eight millimeter Mauser. built this from scratch. They took a model toy and uh, they took a Chevy truck, actually two frames, and uh, built the axle underneath in the frame. See down there. And they took model to metal off of that toy. And uh, that would be a 20 millimeter cannon. These actually had those, these were reconnaissance. Like if there's down airplane to go get the pilots. And they built it from scratch. Just copying a, a model. You can see a spare tire tucked away just like it had been on the model or like a real thing. And it's powered. 350 Chevy or 5.7 liter if you want to be a European but it's just the same shape design as the armored car would have been really good replica